My name is Ryan Gabriel and I'm a breast radiologist at the Sarah Cannon Cancer Institute. Women should start getting mammograms starting at the age of 40. Um, that's for the average risk woman. And um, there are instances when women need to get mammograms earlier than that. And that would be a conversation that would be had between the woman's primary care doctor or referring physician and the patient. On average, a woman should be getting a mammogram uh, every year. And that's pretty standard across the board. There is no actual guideline of when women should stop having mammograms. Um, we see women that have mammograms into their 80s and sometimes into their 90s, but really a woman should continue screening mammograms as long as she's in good health. The first mammogram is always kind of a, um, a little anxiety provoking for um, some people that come in. So to expect you would get registered, um, you would get into a dressing room and given a gown and then you would wait to get called back by one of the technologists. The standard mammogram is uh, four views, two views on each side, and um, that takes about 10 minutes. And the mammogram process does involve compression, and compression is really important for the mammogram. It helps us see the structures more clearly, and it actually also decreases radiation. The compression varies from person to person. Typically, women describe mammograms as being uncomfortable, and um, Traditionally, the, the paddle that's used is a flat paddle, but there's a new paddle that we just brought into the Sarah Cannon Cancer Institute, and it has this really interesting curved edge to it, and it allows for a more natural um, curve, and it matches the breast. So that way, when compression is done, it's a little bit more comfortable. 2D mammograms are what most people think of, and that's the traditional mammogram. The 3D mammogram is actually the new technology that we have now, and it able, enables us to take a look at the breast in about one millimeter slices, and so we can see the internal structures better than we ever used to. If it's a woman's first mammogram, she probably will not know what her density is, but everyone benefits from a 3D mammogram, from a woman who's in their 30s if they need to get mammograms then, to when they start screening for average risk, risk women at 40, up to 80s and 90s if they're going to continue getting mammograms. Everyone benefits from a mam uh, 3D mammogram, whether they're really dense or they have very fatty breast tissue. Diagnostic mammogram is um, when the radiologist sees something on the screening mammogram that they want a little bit more information about. And a lot of women come in for extra pictures. They may be spot compression pictures, they could be magnification pictures, they could be an ultrasound. So at any point during that diagnostic visit, you could get extra mammogram pictures and or an ultrasound. And that helps the radiologist figure out what's going on. A lot of times, and for a lot of women, when they come back, this the diagnostic mammogram clears up that question and um, nothing additional needs to be done. During the diagnostic mammogram, if the radiologist sees something that is concerning, then the radiologist will go in and talk with the patient, describe what they're seeing, tell them what they're thinking and whether or not a biopsy needs to be done. Because that would be the next step is to figure out, is this something that we need to be more concerned about? Do we need to get a tissue sample of it to say, is it benign? Is it something in the middle called high risk or precancerous? Or is it in fact uh, cancer or malignancy? I got into radiology because I thought it was really interesting to see all the different structures in the body. And then from that, breast imaging was really interesting to me because not only could I see images and see the mammogram, the ultrasound, and the MRI, but I could also interact with patients and walk them through the initial steps of whether it's something to be concerned about or giving them good news that everything is fine, which happens in most cases. And for me, that is what motivates me and keeps me going. Every day when I wake up, I feel you know, happy that I'm going to work and I feel like I can do a good service to women around the area.